Here's a quick tip to help you determine if you need to look closer for a faulty mass airflow sensor being the root of a drivability concern using nothing more than volumetric efficiency tests and fuel trim data. Let's get started. A volumetric efficiency test is a great first test to run on a vehicle, exhibiting a drivability concern because it can quickly tell you what is right with the vehicle. Think about it. An engine is just an air pump, and if it exhibits good volumetric efficiency, then you don't need to check things like compression, cam timing, or look for restrictions in the intake or exhaust. But what happens when VE comes back below where it should be? Are we looking at a true mechanical issue or an issue related to the inputs the PCM uses to control fueling, ignition timing, and a host of other outputs? Since we need mass airflow data in order to calculate VE, it's entirely in the realm of possibilities that incorrect math data can skew the test results. But how can we tell? By looking at fuel trim, we can help determine if what we're seeing is a real engine breathing issue or a sensor issue. If an engine is truly struggling to pump air, then the volume of that air making its way past the mass airflow sensor and filling the cylinders will be less. The shortened injector pulse caused by the lower MAF rating will be accurate for that reduced air volume. But if the MAF is underreporting the amount of air moving into the intake, the actual air fuel ratio will be lean, causing a positive trend in fuel trims. This underreporting by the MAF can be caused by a fail or contaminated sensor itself, supporting circuitry, or even false air from, say, a rotted post sensor intake bellows. And if your diagnostics lead you to a faulty sensor, make sure you're replacing it with a unit that is designed for precision and reliability, like a Duralast sensor from AutoZone. I'd like to thank the folks at AutoZone for sponsoring this tech tip, and until next time, thanks for watching.